Hello and welcome to the weirdest video I have ever made. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I am recommending books to Spongebob characters. That is where my content is at the moment. I have been wanting to make this video and I hope that people enjoy it. If not, it's just something that I will watch because I really love Spongebob. So if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't for more chaotic energy and content like this. I have a lot of creative book recommendation videos, so that will be linked up here. I have recommended books based on Disney original movies, I've recommended books based on Girl Scout cookies, and I've even recommended books to my Animal Crossing villagers, so at this point I've almost done it all. So today I'm recommending books to Spongebob characters. Let's get started. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? First we have the one and only Spongebob Squarepants and I'm actually wearing his Sweet Victory shirt. And you may not believe me, but I found a book with a fry cook. And this is Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. This is about an Indian American deaf girl who works at McDonald's as a fry cook who has to go to a hearing school when she is kicked out of her deaf school for graffiti. She loves graffiti and art and the illustrations are even in this book, but I do want to give a disclaimer that this is not own voices for any of the representation so please take my recommendation with a grain of salt but she does work at McDonald's as a fry cook and this was the only book I could think of. I will try and link some own voices reviews. I didn't see any but I did see some reviews saying that the deaf representation was good. I'll try and link down below some own voices reviews just in case but this does have a fry cook and this is the only book I could think of. Next we have Gary the Snail. What an icon. I am recommending Ghost Squad by Claribel A. Ortega primarily because of the cat Chunk. This is about a girl named Lucille who can see her loved ones who have passed over as fireflies and their lights start going out and she and her friend Sid try and get to the bottom of what's happening. This is a lovely book. I love it so much. It talks about grief and Clarabelle's Dominican heritage is also incorporated. Next is our guy and favorite meme, Patrick Starr. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. And I'm going to be recommending a picture book to him because I just feel like he's not going to be someone who reads a full-length novel. I was thinking of comics, but I couldn't really think of any that I've read that I would recommend to him. So I'm going to recommend the picture book Fry Bread. This is an indigenous picture book just about making fry bread and about how fry bread is important to the indigenous culture. I loved it. It was great. And I think that Patrick would enjoy it because he also loves food. Next is Mr. Krabs who loves money. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. I'm going to recommend a book that I read in college which was really useful. This is Get a Life, Personal Finance in Your 20s and 30s. I don't know how old Mr. Krabs is. <laughs> I think that Mr. Krabs would benefit from reading this book because it is all about your finances and I really enjoy it and I'm going to be keeping this book for a long time. It is all about things you need to know about finance. There's taking stock of your financial life, dealing with debt, about renting and insurance, just about home insurance and all of the things you really need to know about investing and I think it's a really useful resource so I will link it down below if anyone wants to purchase it. Next we have Squidward who is a whole mood. I think he is the most relatable character on Spongebob and I have the perfect recommendation. I have You Should Sing in a Crown by Leah Johnson and I'm recommending this because the main character Liz Lighty is first chair clarinet in her band. This is about Liz Letty who likes girls and she is running for prom queen in a competition at her school that gives you a large sum of money if you win and her financial aid falls through and she really needs money for tuition and she decides to enroll in the prom committee and meets a girl. It's a great sapphic romance. I really enjoy this book and she is first chair clarinet and I think that Squidward would appreciate this book because he loves clarinet. Then we have our evil mastermind, Plankton. 
I am recommending An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, which is a sci-fi book about a girl named April who goes viral when she finds these things called carls, which are like Plankton's house, basically. In my mind, they look like Plankton's house, and they are like these metal things that just appear in New York City, and April is the first one to find it. They go viral and almost take over the world, and honestly, I think that Plankton wrote this book. Plankton wrote this book before he got the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> then we have Mr. Krabs' daughter, Pearl, and I am recommending a contemporary romance to her. I'm going to recommend To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I just think this is the perfect contemporary romance for Pearl. I think that she is someone that would eat this book up and really enjoy the whole trilogy. I'm also going to recommend Heartstopper Volumes 1 and 2, just because those are the only ones that I've read, but they're also great contemporary romances about 14 year old boys who are exploring their sexuality and coming to terms with it. It is such a sweet graphic novel series and I loved it so much and can't wait to continue. Last is Sandy Cheeks, A Squirrel from Texas. Wish I was back in Texas. And I have to recommend a book set in Texas. This is Stay Gold by Topley McSmith. This is about a trans boy named Pony who goes to a new school in Texas and it is about him saving up for top surgery, him in a disapproving family and just trying to give himself some hope. It is about him going through a lot of struggles as a trans person and just trying to fit in at his new school. He meets a girl named Georgia who is a cheerleader and he just wants her to like him. But do look out for the trigger warnings because this is a graphic book. It is not as hopeful and cheerful as you would think it is. Pony does experience a lot of trauma and violence towards him and I just want to point that out before recommending this. I just wanted to point that out because it can be a triggering book for trans people but it's set in Texas and it's one of my favorite books. So those were all of my recommendations for some Spongebob characters. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below for engagement and if you'd like to see a part two of any characters I missed comment them down below. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there for only one dollar. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.